All right, so you're looking to create a new resource pack? Well, let's get into it here. This is gonna be the first video in my series of creating a resource pack. It's gonna cover all the basics to get you started. So the first thing you wanna do is create a new folder. Uh, we're gonna call it, you can call it whatever you want the name of your pack to be. I'm gonna call it Demo Pack. Now let's pop it open here. Now you'll see it's empty. We need to find some textures that we can put in this folder so we can edit them. So to locate those check textures, there's two ways. Here's the first one. Okay, so the first method here, you're going to open up your Minecraft launcher. You're going to boot up here. Now you're going to go click these three lines up in the corner. Launch options. And you'll see you have all the versions of Minecraft that you currently have installed. And so the latest release is 1.11.2 and the latest snapshot currently is 1.11.2 as well. So. If you want to make it for the latest snapshot, you're going to click this one. If you want to make it for the latest release, you're going to click this one. We'll do the release. So we click here. Pulls up a bunch of uh, settings here. We are just interested in this game directory one. We want to, this shows us where our game directory is located and that's where we want to go. So if we click this arrow right here, it will take us to the game directory. That's the one of the fastest ways. Mine isn't working currently. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. This is a new launcher at the time of this video. So yeah, uh, here's another method on how to do it if this method isn't working for you. So the second method is just locating it via the path of where it is. So for Mac, it's gonna be the one that says Mac and for Windows, it's the one that says Windows. So you can check those out and see what applies for you. Um, so if you're on a Mac, just head over to Spotlight Search, just type in the path and it will take you right there. Now that we're here, in order to find our textures, we're gonna go to versions. Should be inside. And now you'll see all the versions you currently have installed. I only have a couple versions installed here, but we wanna make a texture pack for the latest version. And right now it's 1.11.2. We're gonna hop inside this folder. You'll see a .jar file and a .json file. You're gonna to wanna to head to the .jar, right click it, you're gonna to have to open it with a unzipper or a archive utility as I'm using on Mac. Uh, I think WinRAR or various things work. I'm not 100%, pop it open. Now we head inside of this folder here. Now you see a bunch of class files. We're gonna to wanna to scroll down until we find a folder with the name of assets. Assets, you see this folder? This is the folder we need. So we're gonna move this over open up our demo pack again and we're going to drag this assets folder right over now we can back out of this you can delete this if you want if it takes up extra space we'll clear that out of there now we have an assets folder in our pack and in this assets folder there's minecraft and then there's a bunch of other folders if you want to see an overview of what all these folders are check out the next video it will show you what is in all these folders Okay, so there's a few more things you want to do here uh, before your pack can be fully active. The first thing is, is we have to create a document to tell the game that this folder is actually a resource pack. So open up a text editing program that can edit in plain text. For Mac, we can use text edit. For Windows, you can use Notepad. And head over to Format and hit Make Plain Text. And now there's going to be some written code that I'm going to have in the description for you and you're going to want to paste it right in here. Um, now, this is just a little bit of code that the game can see, you know, and display about the pack and we'll activate it. So the pack format here, and you'll see it's followed by a number, number three. Uh, this number kind of corresponds, I believe, to, you know, uh, keeping the pack up to date. So the current version of Minecraft is 1.11 and the pack format is three. For 1.10, the pack format is two. Uh, now I'm not 100% how it works, but I would have a good guess that maybe for 1.12, the pack format will be four. So just double check what version you're on and just figure out what the current pack format should be. Now, the description we can edit to make anything we want. So let's uh, just edit it. And we'll say, demo pack and you'll see it auto corrected my the little quotation marks which are actually supposed to be this 
um, little one. So we'll just paste these here because it has to be these, otherwise it won't work. So there we go. Make sure your quotations don't get auto-corrected. And there we go, we're done here. Now we're gonna save it. And we're gonna save it as pack.mcmeta. There we go, make sure that's the name. And uncheck this box here because we don't want it .txt. And we're gonna hit save. And you'll see it pop there on my desktop. Now we're gonna pop it into the folder. And now our pack is ready to go. Okay, so if you wanna create a little image to display next to your texture pack, here's how you do it. Open up your image editing software. I have Pixelmator. Hit create new image. And you want the dimensions to be 128 by 128. And it will give you a nice little square. Now you can color this and make this anything you want. But for me, I'm just gonna take an image I found online of a nice forest and just try to get it looking nice. There we go. And we're gonna export it. Uh, make sure you select PNG and you wanna call it pack. It's gonna be pack.png. We'll hit export and there we go. We see it appeared there and we can just pop it into our folder. So now our pack has everything it needs in order to run. The only thing is I haven't edited any of the textures in the game so we won't actually know if it's active. So let me edit a texture now. So we'll head into assets, Minecraft, and we'll go to textures, blocks. And now we wanna find one that will display when we spawn in here. We'll do, uh, we'll do the log. So we'll open up the, lo the oak log with Pixelmator. Again, image editing software. And now you can just edit this with whatever you want. So maybe I'll just quickly change the color of the log here to have a nice blue. That's, a little, that's looking good, nice blue log, okay. And we're gonna export once again. Keep the name the exact same as how you found it. There we go. Exported. And we'll open back up our folders here, head back in, and we'll just drag it in here and hit replace. And there it is, nice blue log. So now we wanna put our pack into the actual game. So let's fire up Minecraft here. And then you're gonna go into options and resource packs and click open resource pack folder and take your pack and drop it in the folder there. Close out of that, hit done, resource packs, and you'll see your pack has shown up and my description demo pack and the little image and everything. So we'll enable the pack, hit done. And let's log into a world here. We'll go this one. And we should see some blue logs for the oak logs. And right away, you can see there's some blue logs there, man. Uh, yeah, not the best addition, but that's how you do it. So now you know how to make a general resource pack and create the starting folders. If you want to get more advanced into more advanced things such as connected textures, you know, custom models and things like that, make sure you check out my playlist. Um, I'm going to be making a playlist on how to do most everything to do with resource packs. So check that out and uh, yeah, greatly appreciate it. See you.